Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help people discover your purpose, your genius, made up of your expertise and life experience and build it into a profit-generating business that attracts clients. So today, I wanted to talk about the number one question or issue that my clients tell me uh, when they come to me and that I hear in the entrepreneurial world and that's you know on the subject of clients that uh, I can't get a consistent flow of clients if you're getting clients at all and I know that this is something that is always on uh, whether you've been in business for a while or uh, maybe you, you're just starting your business you know, having that overflow of clientele being booked out is uh, what every entrepreneur wants. And so today I wanted to address it. And if you didn't watch my two videos in the last two days, you're going to need to in order to have context for this. But just review, I'm going to just quickly talk about the two subjects that I talked about. One was, does your visibility matter? And the second was marketing, why um, the way that you understand marketing is not working. So as I said in that video, and you need to watch it, so if you didn't, it's posted on my timeline on Facebook and it's posted uh, in my group, The Genius Collective. So uh, your visibility, as we discussed, is seen as uh, neediness. And when you go and you try to be visible, you end up, number one, blending in. Because if you don't have a strategy, you're just trying to be visible. And number two, just because you're human, it's the human condition to want to be liked. So when you go out and you try to be visible um, on, online, it's a human reaction to then... Uh, want to be liked. So then the things that you say and do and post are um, basically dumbed down versions of who you really are and uh, the message that your ideal clients actually need to hear in order for them to, uh, to, to take a step closer to you and want to contact you. So marketing, as I discussed yesterday, is very uh, misunderstood. So, as I discussed yesterday, marketing, um, you know, when people think of marketing, you may go and you, uh, you know, I, I, I have a lot of Facebook friends that go and, and take things like B school and C school because um, they think, and you may have thought, and there's nothing wrong with this, but you think that you need to learn it all, that you need to learn how to do funnels and, you know, Build your list and, and do all the tactical things that are involved in, um, in marketing your business. And I'm just going to preface this by saying that those things, uh, some of them, are very important. And you are going to need that. But if you are uh, either just starting out or you're not getting a consistent flow of clients, you haven't mastered the art of getting clients. So there's a difference between, um, you know, building out your system and, and all of that. If you don't understand how to attract clients to you, if you don't understand what your highest value is, all those things, doing your social media and, um, you know, you may haphazardly get clients, which is maybe why you're not having a consistent flow. Um, you're just posting things that you think are applicable uh, and then you have like your whole system built out you think that you're doing everything right you're actually not speaking again the message that your ideal clients need to hear in a way that they need to hear it and multiple bad things happen um, first of all they can't hear you because you're speaking things that they don't they don't need to hear and then on the on the other side of that and so many people don't think that this is related. But on the other side of that is what's going on inside your head. 
So you're sitting there thinking you're doing everything right. You're like, you know, launching these things and putting these things out there and you're trying to schedule your social media and, you know, I'm going to do a happy post at 10 o'clock and then, you know, something else at, at 1 o'clock. And you get so caught up in that uh, and, and you're not getting results that you actually end up uh, um, dumbing down yourself. And then you end up uh, losing your self-confidence, which really is not where you want to be in order to um, attract your ideal clients. So just as I talked about in my other two videos, uh, you're trying to get not to be liked, but to get respect. And how you gain respect is different for, for everybody, and it's different with who you speak with. But you actually need to uh, understand that. So, you know, the second point that I, that I, I said I was going to address um, in the post is selling. That the way that uh, selling is being taught is about, you know, um, it's about uh, the psychology of the mind, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about uh, the way that selling is being taught and then the way that um, things need to happen in order to, for you to get clients. So right now, the way that selling is taught is that you uh, build rapport with people. You make friends with them. You know, that's why, um, you know, everyone's like, be visible. You know, buddy up with people. Hey, you know, what do you do? That's so great. You know, and you're friends with them. And then you, you develop a relationship, you know. Wow, that's really, you know, I, I, have, I have all that in common with you too. And, and then what's being taught is that you go into Facebook groups and you buddy up with more people. And then you're all buddying up together. And then, bam, you go and you try to sell people. Suddenly, you turn from being their um, friend to now you're trying to sell them. You haven't built the value underneath yourself. Uh, you look needy and you just flip the switch that um, you went from being a friend to now you're trying to get them to spend money. So that's the way that, um, you know, a very dumbed down version of the way that selling is being taught. And in actuality, it's not about selling people. It's about attracting your ideal clients. And then, you know, this is a very technical term, but um, if you follow uh, the, the work that I do and I talk about understanding that at the base of every sale, there are two human beings. There's you and then there's your potential ideal client. There are two hearts, two minds going on there and two lives. And when you can understand that you are speaking to somebody, somebody who has feelings, who hurts just like you, who has an urgent problem, who, you know, celebrates and who may also be lost. When you can understand that that is a human being, not someone, you know, at the top of your funnel, then you can understand how to attract people and then how to qualify them so that then they, they get attracted to you, you know, in technical terms, coming down your funnel. But no, this is about the human being. So, you know, the number one reason why you're not attracting your ideal clients is that you haven't uh, decided and you don't understand how to claim and own your business. So you're like, no, I really did. You know, I trademarked my business. I, you know, I, 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 I have a name, you know, I have a website and everything. No, I mean uh, basing your business, understanding who you are and why you are here. So that seems very unrelated, but in fact, it's actually very related. Because if you're just trying to um, 
build a business that isn't based on, you know, your highest value, then the information that you're putting out there is not specific to you. You aren't actually standing out in the eyes of your ideal client and you may not even know who your ideal client is. You may be just putting things out there and maybe you've gotten clients, but it's kind of like haphazard. You're not uh, targeting people because your ideal client is you before you could discover your solution. So this is about understanding who you are, why you're here, what your unique highest value is, that's you know everything that your life has brought you to do, and all your expertise combined into a message that it that sells a message that solves an urgent problem for people and it's true to you so just as i was saying you know it's one thing to be able to speak the words and have the business that that speaks to um, your ideal client but on the other side of that is that those things need to actually come out of your mouth <laughs> So, you know, when everybody focuses on the tactical side of things and trying to learn all the things that people are, are, are teaching that are very surface level, um, and then, you know, there's the, the mindset coaches and different things like that, and, and, and people, like, are not uh, relating that together. But in fact, what you do in your business and how you base it, what you base it on, enables you to be able to speak it and to stand out to your ideal clients. So I often hear people say, you know, I'm scared to speak on, you know, on video. I, you know, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know how to, um, you know, how to get my work out there. And there is a method. I'm going to teach it in order for you to structure it. But what I'm witnessing is that many people haven't actually Develop the thing before that. You know, I was talking about the thing behind the thing. The thing behind the thing, which is, you know, who you are and why you're here. Because once you have that, you don't even have to know the tactical stuff. You have a, that's claiming and owning your business. That's about then not just having a business and a message and all the like, you know, surface level things. That's about having a purpose. And let me just tell you, when you have a purpose, it's like, get out of my way, because <laughs> I'm going to speak it. When you know your purpose, you will come hell or high water to get over the mind that tries to hold you back, the self-confidence issues and all of those things. You know, they always say, like, where there's a will, there's a way. Your purpose is actually your will, and you will fight for it to get that message out there. So, you know, that's what's happening behind the scenes. So what I, what, you know, who I speak with and what I'm noticing is that it's the people with a lot of expertise who, um, you know, may have achieved things in their past who actually aren't making the money that you should be. And why that is, is number one, you know, you've probably achieved some sort of success in, in your past. And so y your standards are higher, uh, not higher than other people, but they're just, you know, you have high standards of yourself that, you know, you want to achieve this certain level. So it causes you to then go and follow, you know, the people that you think have it all together. But again, that's going outside of you. Instead of, you know, diving deeper and finding out how do I position what's inside of me in the right way so that then I can go out and learn how to put it together into my business. And so, you know, when you have that, that purpose, that deeper sense, and then you are able to put it together and position it so that your ideal clients can hear you, then um, you will start 
attracting a flow of people that want to hear you and people that want to work with you. Then, instead of uh, trying to get clients, you are um, understanding how to get the message out of you and position yourself as the leader for the, your ideal clients. It's totally different than trying to focus on, you know, how do I get clients? You know, what's going on? What, and that causes, you know, I'm sure you've heard of overlearning syndrome. So, you know, this is kind of off on a tangent, but I, 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 I wanted to cover this and um, I think it kind of fits in here. But, you know, so overlearning causes you to follow people that, uh, you know, are making a lot of money who seem to, you know, I'm teaching you B-School, I'm teaching you all these different things, you know, um, which really wasn't how they uh, found their purpose and positioned themselves in their mind to be the leader, okay? So what they're teaching, if it's like, you know, um, a group thing or something, some, some people maybe teach you something about it. I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. But this is what it seems like is happening. And so you go and you try to learn those things. And uh, what I notice is that many people are attracted to people who um, say, um, I don't know if there's, if you have this on lap, but you know, say the F word a lot. And uh, who are very, almost like demeaning, like when they talk. And people are just attracted to that. And that's fine, you know, if that really motivates you, you know, that's really fine. But I, you know, sitting on the outside, um, to me, it just looks like uh, they're speaking down to you. And then what that causes is that uh, then your subconscious is thinking that you're below them, which as a person with expertise and life experience and someone who was, you know, lauded in their career, suddenly now you're like the student and you lose your confidence. And, um, you know, the brain, so, you know, it's not your fault. In actuality, um, you know, we have three brains. Sorry, I have to bring that up all, every time. Our fight or flight brain, the one that judges, um, you know, whether, whether uh, we should kill something, mate with something, or eat it. And so that brain is always trying to protect us. That's where fear comes from. Then your emotional brain, where um, your, your gut felt, um, heartfelt reactions and gut, gut decisions are, are made. And then your stupid thinking brain, where cognitive dissonance happens. You know, it's smart, it learns things, but then at the same time, it also is like, you're so stupid, you know, trying to find reasons to justify whatever it is that you believe about yourself. So um, that, those brains uh, were designed to keep us safe and also to judge status. And back in the caveman days, you know, our status judging uh, um, uh, emotional brain is, uh, was trying to see, you know, who is the leader? Who do we need to buddy up with? So that we can be accepted into the cave and not have to be out, you know, with saber-toothed tigers and get eaten. So, you know, people that are going, you know, fuck you and no, 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 you know, you need to be doing this. It, it's like appealing to some people's brains because you're seeing them as a leader and maybe they, you know, they know something that you don't. Especially like if you're trying to make money in your business. So I, I just, I feel like I have to speak that because it's the one thing that, um, you know, you may have hopped off by now because I may have offended people, but um, it hurts me to see this because at least I, you know, I know my BBFs, my best business friends, you're of high value. And, and if you recognize how people speak to you, because, you know, not everybody speaks like that. And there's a lot of knowledgeable people out there that don't, they don't teach like that. They don't speak down to people. And I just, um, you know, just want you to recognize uh, the value inside of you so that you can then put yourself into places where people are um, appreciating your value 
And, you know, I'm not saying that the people that talk down, down, you know, that's just the way that they talk, that they're, um, that they're bad people, because they're not. That's just maybe the way they talk. But what ends up happening in many people's brains is that you lose your self-confidence because of it. And uh, if, the, if that is happening, you know, it's just, it, I want to point it out so that you can recognize it and then do something about it. So I just, I have to speak that because it's just something that, that eats away at me every day. So anyway, sorry, back on uh, uh, getting clients. So, you know, once you understand the things that are not getting you clients, then you really need to understand um, how to position yourself as the leader for your ideal clients. So, you know, this is about claiming and owning your business and who you are out loud. It's about understanding your highest value, your highest value um, not only to yourself, but your purpose. So that then you can then uh, put it together in a message that sells. So until you know that, you can't put it together. And then there is a way to position it so that it, it is taken in by your audience, your ideal clients, in the way that they need to hear it, like in a webinar or in a, in a video, so that it attracts their attention and, um, and then gets them to take a step closer to you. So, you know, yesterday I, took, I talked about the feelings funnel. So that's how I want you to think about, um, you know, a, a funnel. It's not a sales funnel because when people think about sales funnel, then they start to get like, you know, yeah, that's so sleazy and like, you know, it, it, it dumbs down the value that you are. So I want you to think about as feelings. So, you know, at the top of your funnel, your feelings funnel, is that you want to... Um, Position yourself as somebody who understands um, your BBF's uh, urgent problem and then all of the other problems that are happening because of that urgent problem. So remember, you know, you're talking to another human being. So just like you, you know, let's say, you know, you have a, you have a business and, and you can't make money or you're not making money. And so you end up, you know... Um, yelling at your kids or, um, you know, everyone's telling you, I don't believe in you or, you know, whatever all the other issues are, that's at the top of your feelings funnel. That's, you know, how you're going to capture the attention of people by, by helping them um, understand that you understand their problems and that you, because you've lived it yourself, are able to help them solve those problems. So they may not even be related to your business, but they're related to their urgent problem. And so as a part of your marketing, you know, that's how you position yourself as someone of influence to your, your um, BBS. Understanding their urgent problem and the other problems that the urgent problem is, cause, is um, causing. And then, you know, understanding how your story how this is, you know, understanding who you are and why you're here, how your story plays into solving that urgent problem. And that allows you, because you know it so well, it's your story, to speak with a moral authority. So it's positioning you as a leader to your ideal clients in the words that you speak and um, you know, when you can understand how your story is actually related to the urgent problem that you solve, not only do the ideas come flowing, but you actually, uh, you know, then are very determined to get this information out and you speak with a knowledge and an inner knowing. So owning and claiming your business means that, you know, you own it. You, you own it on the inside because it's a part of you. And that comes out in the things that you say. You don't have to like, you know, craft some, um, you know, 
thing that, that will, you know, lure them in. That's not the way it works. It's about um, positioning yourself from the inside out as the moral authority, speaking with the inner knowing that you are there to help people. You know, just like um, uh, 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 something just like flew out of my head. Oh, just like desperation is, you, you're able to see that. Your subconscious is able to see that. Your moral authority, other people's subconscious can actually see that. They can feel it in the words that you say and how you say it. And then lastly, you know, it's having insight. So because your story relates to um, how, uh, you know, the problems that they're going through, it's your story. So, you know, you've, you've come to the answers, so you have insight into the things that they're going through. You know, that gives you the leadership. So what this is all about is positioning. Positioning yourself so that you are positioned to sell. That positioning is how your ideal clients, your potential audience, you know, your potential ideal clients, um, position you in their minds in accordance to your competition. So if people are not buying from you, you know, they may really like you, but again, we, you know, we just talked about how the goal is not to be liked, it's to be respected. So, um, you know, positioning yourself, then once you know that, then there is a way to position your message, to position your audience, to position what it is that you do and position what you sell in a way that gets through their brains. So this is about a very, uh, you know, cognitively psychologist, Cognitive psychology, uh, let's see, let me think about the, how the brain works. <laughs> this is the way to position your message and um, whatever it is that, you, that you're going to, to decide to get your message out in. So let's say it's like a webinar or a, a Facebook Live video. How are you going to position it so that it, it is in a way that sells? So, you know, the last thing that I, I said in my post that I was going to do is tell you that you can actually get started positioning yourself to sell today because I just launched um, the sign up for a free training that's going to happen on August 11th and uh, it's, uh, it's an audio training. It's going to tell you, you know, how to position uh, yourself not only from the inside but really this is the external part about, you know, how you, how you put it into your message, you know, what are, how you position your audience, what are the words you need to say. This is really about the tactical side of it. And uh, when you sign up for that, you will have the opportunity to join a seven-day position to sell challenge. Now, you know, I've noticed that a lot of people signed up for the training but didn't sign up for the um, seven-day challenge, which is a mistake because the seven day challenge is going to build your solid foundation so that you are enabled to get that message out. And you know, you don't learn something once and then think that you're gonna go out and do it. This is why people get into overlearning syndrome. So you just learn and then you learn and then you learn. And as Darren Hardy, the, the CEO of Success Magazine said, don't go and read 200 books Read one book 200 times. So I can't think of anything more important than learning your positioning. You don't need sales funnels. You don't need an email list. You don't need all that. If you have the internal positioning and know how to speak it in that external way, you're going to get clients. Trust me. This is, you know, this business has been done like this with positioning. If, if you start to listen to like business podcasts and, and um, audio, you will start recognizing that word positioning happens a lot. And there's a reason for that. It's because it's the basis of everything. If you, whether you're a mom or, you know, just someone walking down the street, your position 
determines whether you're the homeless guy sitting on the side of the street or you're the high-powered, you know, businesswoman walking around in, in your um, Louboutins. Positioning affects everything. And especially as an online entrepreneur, this is how you get past uh, all of the, the noise online. Because you're going to be positioned as the leader, the category leader of your, um, of your, of your audience. Because no one else is going to do what you do because your business is based on you. So there's a ton of business strategists out there. There's a ton of business coaches. You know, I could say, oh, my God, you know, no one's going to really understand, um, you know, how am I going to stand out to my ideal clients? Well, I stand out because, uh, you know, it's not just my 25 years of business and marketing experience. You know, it's, it's not, you know, that I have a health condition and I under, uncovered all these holistic strategies. No, it's actually who I am and how I speak. Because if you, if you are not um, one of my BBFs, you actually may think I'm probably rude. And you may think, you know, somebody said yesterday I needed to re-record my Facebook Live video because I said too many ums. Sorry, but that's just the way that I am. But my, you know, the people that can actually hear me, so if you're still on this, you have probably are one of my BBFs then you can actually hear the value that I'm delivering. So just like, you know, it, that is for me, that's what you want going on in your business. That you could just be you, show up, you know, however you show up. Although, you know, I, I am going to recommend things um, in my training on how to show up so that you, you earn, you know, respect. Because, you know, don't get me wrong, uh, you know, words and image and things like that, play a role in all of it but anyway you know on the other side um, you know your personality uh, there's a way to position it so that it shines in its highest in its highest way so you know join the it's, it's at positioned.totalgenius.net um, join that and then I all I can do is say I highly recommend you join the seven day challenge because not only do you um, get the seven days, uh, you'll get my genius helping you through the seven days. So this is about actually doing the things um, that are within. So if you took Master Your Money Code, you know I'm very strict about that. I will kick people out. Uh, I, I will delete you from the list if you don't participate. You know, I, I, am, I am not, I'm not doing this to get followers to build my list. I'm doing this to help you. And so if you're not going to participate, then I'm not going to share my genius with you. And, um, you know, this is about accountability. Why I do that is not because I'm mean. It's because I have a very specific way that I, um, that I believe success is, happens. And, and it, it's multiple levels, but, you know, it starts with who you are. Um, it starts with, the, the successful life that you have set up, you know, success, su successful habits, um, and then it, your successful business and how you get that message out there and how you uphold yourself in your business. Those things are essential to having not only a successful business, but a successful business that plays into your successful life. And so if you're not going to participate and do the things required of you, then I am probably not the person, you know, you want to learn from. Because I'm about results. I, I want to get people results. And it's frustrating for me if people, you know, don't do the work. Because, you know, there's work involved, but you can make it fun. I, I think I make it fun. So, um, so then there's a seven-day challenge. And then when you sign up for the seven-day challenge, there's actually a free training on the other side of that. So... Uh, as I told someone today, I'm going to town with, um, with the next two weeks. And so you can get in on this, you know, the 7-day challenge, you can join at any time. But you may want to do it now uh, because there's going to be a lot of other things that are happening uh, before August 11th. And uh, anyway, I hope that that's helped you today. I've got to run and go to the park. And, you know, um, I speak a very... Uh, I speak with a lot of gusto. <laughs> I'm very passionate about what I do because this is my purpose. You know, 
I didn't live all my life um, beating myself up in my head, suffering from my lack of identity, and uh, you know, accomplishing all these goals on the other side of it, only to not appreciate it and uh, go 48 years of my life thinking, you know, there's something wrong with me. You know, now, now that I've, I've really discovered uh, my highest value, God help me, but I'm going to teach it to whoever wants to hear it because this is the number one thing that every human being suffers from, and that's um, not feeling good enough and beating yourself up in your head. I don't care, you know, if you're Oprah or you're President Obama or you're you or, you know, you're the homeless person on the street. We all have that same human brain with the 80% negative thoughts and 95% unconscious that goes through this same thing. You know, it may not be, it may be less frequent for some people, but it happens all the time. And, you know, when your business is positioned correctly, your business actually doesn't just solve your ideal client's problems, it solves your own problems. And to me, that's gold because if you can get paid for being who you are, um, and it actually benefiting your life, not just monetarily, but psychologically uh, in your head, you know, that's called living the life of no regrets. So, you know, come join me. And, you know, if not, uh, it's been great. <laughs> and uh, I will uh, talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Okay, see you.